Hi everybody, Sam is David here with Fresh Bread. Um, a word of encouragement for you, followed by... Something on the harp. Today I want to encourage you in your uniqueness. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. There's, you know, you we've heard it said there's, you know, only you have your fingerprint. And uh, when God made you, he threw away the mold and all of those cute things. It's true. It's true. There is really only one you. And when God says, as he does in Isaiah 42, sing to the Lord a new song and his praise from the ends of the earth. Why would the Lord need a new song? Why? Why not just songs by songwriters? I mean, that's what we do in the secular world, right? We find songs that speak to our heart, that say what we want to say, and we play those songs over, and we love those songs, and the beats, and the vo uh, um, vocals, and singers, and all that. It's wonderful. Not with God. God wants a new song, because that word new means a song that's never been sung before, and so you have to sing it. And what's new for you won't be new for me because my new song is not your new song. So what God is saying is everybody sing their song. And in case you think that that means music only, it doesn't. Live your life. Be yourself before God. He knows all your, all your weaknesses. He knows your strengths. He, he knows your skill set. He knows what you can and cannot do. And he wants to work with you. He wants to walk with you, to journey with you. And for you to just simply acknowledge him. It's, it's a two-way conversation. And so when he says, sing a new song in his praise, he wants praise from the lilies of the field, praise from the trees, praise from the animals, praise from the sea, praise from the branches waving at him. And he wants your specific song because he knows your voice. He knows how you walk, the things you lean on, the, the way you like to talk, the things you like to eat. He just says, can I journey with you, my child? And uh, it's a beautiful thing when we can yield and say, God, help me along. Lead me along. Allow me to sing my song and enjoy my song. And he's just waiting for that. He's just waiting for that. Sing a new song of praise to the Lord. Sing your song. Don't sing my song. My song is for me. You sing your own song. Your own words, the way it comes out of your lips, just sing your own song. And if you don't speak, sign it to him. Sign language. Whatever is uniquely you, God wants to hear that. So I just want to encourage you. Uh, you, you have a loving father who is waiting to hear your song. All right, be encouraged. Let's hear the harp song, Dina. He likes that too. Be blessed today. Sing your song to the Lord. Journey with your Father. Amen.